Introducing the House of Helios. I'm Jessica Agbujimba. I'm Karin Buchanan. I'm Cole Subcamp Walker. And I'm Ashley Clay. So we were presented a problem in Dillingham with teachers having no homes for themselves to live in, where they were actually sleeping in the schoolhouse. So we wanted to present them an energy efficient home to make it less expensive for them to live in and be comfortable. And one major way we got some information was to survey them and ask them what they felt they needed to feel comfortable, as well as to be able to complete their jobs efficiently. Energy analysis represented a very large part of our project as it was the main indicator of the house's overall efficiency. We used two main softwares for our energy analysis, Remrate and AKWARM. While Remrate offered more in the way of complexity, AKWARM was created specifically for homes in Alaska and thus offered more options for integration of renewables. To get the best of both worlds, we created two simulations, one in each software, and spent a lot of time tweaking their input parameters in order to match up the outputs as closely as possible in order to validate our results. In the end, our annual costs for heating and electricity between the two were within $100 of one another, and the average cost for heating and supplying electricity was approximately $2,000 per year. According to our energy analysis, we are decided on the best, most efficient home and for it to also be comfortable for the teachers. In doing so, we found that this layout with two stories, with the bedrooms on top, some closet space, an office, sitting area, and a bathroom, along with the downstairs having a large kitchen, dining, and living room with an arctic entry to keep with the uh, cold air from coming into the house, along with a very thick outer envelope of the house. So to do our load analysis, we uh, utilize a application called Tecla and it's basically the program that allows you to individually place uh, building material on different grids and you could do load analysis, see if your st structure is basically able to stand up right and has integrity. You could also do snow load analysis to make sure that the the roof can um, withstand all snow dependent uh, features. Communicating with our partners in Dillingham, uh, we determined uh, several possible site locations. Um, however, uh, we decided upon this one uh, because it's uh, new land and it's easier to develop. Through the uh, geometry of our building, we're able to determine um, how much concrete is required for foundation. Uh, as well as the building materials for our structure, um, as well as a general overview of what's needed for finishing and making the home look nice. Overall, we felt that we learned a great deal about building science from this project. In particular, we were required to become intimately familiar with the interrelated subsystems of a standard house and all of the codes and standards that engineers must conform to throughout the design process. We benefited greatly from having a specific need to fulfill from the very beginning of the project, which was to provide a reasonable, comfortable, and efficient housing option for the teachers of Dillingham. We hope that the data we have collected will benefit the Dillingham teaching staff of the future.